Lawrence County basketball teams get ready for another district road game on Friday night. Plus, the North Alabama men were on the road at Central Arkansas trying to snap a league losing skid. It's coming up next on X Sports Tonight. From the X Sports Network, this is X Sports Tonight. Welcome to X Sports Tonight. I'm AJ Good starting things off with high school basketball where Lawrence County will be back on the road in district play on Friday. Both Wildcat teams will be heading to Marshall County as the boys look to continue their hot streak while the girls will be looking to get back on the right track. Starting first with the girls side in Lawrence County, the Lady Cats have struggled as of late dropping their last two contests in the district to Lincoln County and Tullahoma, two of the better teams in the league. Up next for the Purple and Gold will be the two teams at the bottom of the district in Marshall County on Friday and Spring Hill on Tuesday. It will be a chance for the Lady Cats to get back on the right track and an opportunity for redemption. I mean, you've got to be able to uh, mentally be prepared no matter if you're at home or on the road. Um, and our district's tough, it's going to be tough, and it's going to be a battle every time we set foot on the floor. Um, a lot of things can happen. You know, we just need to focus on the things that we can control and uh, just focus on getting better one day at a time. Now over to the boys' side in Lawrence County, where after a district opening loss, they have put on back-to-back -back impressive performances, wins over Lincoln County and Tullahoma. Now up next will be a trip to Marshall County on Friday night. The Tigers are a perfect 3-0 in the league along with Page. The Wildcats will be looking to knock them from the ranks of the unbeatens and to add another win to their resume in a very tough district. If you're a competitor, you know, this is what you play for, and you just, you know, have to keep battling and and try to be mentally ready every time you step on the floor and not let the little things get you down, which I thought we did a good job of that last night. You know, we didn't start off very good, turned the ball over almost as many times in the first quarter as we average in a game. You know, but then we settled down and, and played a lot better. Still, our shooting is not, it's in the district, we're, we're struggling a little bit, you know, shooting the ball, but hopefully that's going to come around. We've, uh, you know, worked on that and and if we can get that corrected and, and play really good defense, you know, we're going to give ourselves a chance. But every, it's, every game is going to be tough, and, and you've got to be ready to play. Coming up next, we head on over to college basketball where the North Alabama men were on the road at Central Arkansas. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. Whether it's popcorn, biscuits, or automotive, you need the right ingredients to achieve the best results. Heritage Automotive is proud to serve our community with a continually growing inventory. We also help our community grow by contributing to a vibrant economy which helps build schools. I'm Keith Durham and I'm the General Manager here at Heritage Automotive and it's my job to make sure that you're 100% satisfied. Heritage Automotive, your hometown Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high-quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. From the X Sports Network, 
This is the North Alabama Report, presented by First Class Charter. Welcome back to X Sports tonight. Now over to college basketball where the North Alabama men were back on the road tonight. They were taking on Central Arkansas as they were looking to snap their five game A Sun losing skid. Battle of one and five teams within the A Sun tonight here in the first half. It's going to be Daniel Ortiz getting the scoring going with this foot on the line for the long two pointer. Then later, the Lewisburg, Tennessee product, KJ Johnson with the drive and the finish. Then later, it's Dallas Howe driving to the low block and getting the fadeaway jumper to fall through. Then later, off the steal, it's Ortiz with the drive and the finish. The game was tied at 37 at the half. Moving ahead to the second half, Jakari Lane getting in on the scoring with the drive and the left-handed finish. Then Ortiz here from the wing, gonna knock down the three. Then Lane, later in the second, is gonna find Ortiz again, and he's gonna give the Lions a lead. He would finish the 16 points. With the game tied once again, it's Lane with the drive and the right hand to finish. He would have a team high 19 as the Lions going to win 78 to 73. That does it for X Sports tonight. Have a great evening. We'll see you guys tomorrow. This is the X Sports Network.